Hi folks, this is Mike with Eminem Precision Painting and today we're going to be showing you how to cut in a ceiling like a professional. But before you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like our videos to subscribe to more how-tos and we're going to get started. All right, so uh, list of tools. You're gonna need a Ninja um, food processor, a little bit of dill weed, a small vacuum, um, a machete. And no, but seriously, all you need is a bucket and a paintbrush. And of course, your paint. All right, guys, um, now I got my paint and my bucket. I got my paintbrush. Uh, first thing you wanna do is load it up. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I generally use, you don't need these tools, but I generally use a four inch roller, three eighths inch nap, one gallon painting grid, just so I can match the stippling when I go to use my larger roller to fill the wall in, but you don't need it. So that being said, first thing you want to do is take your brush. This is not a drive, only dipped it a couple times, but you're going to want to load it up. Just stick it maybe inch and a half inch in your paint. And then you're going to take the brush and you're just going to tap it on the side like so. And as you're going from your brush or your bucket to your wall you want to make sure you you kind of move your brush around like this because if you just let it sit I'll show you what happens tap tap if you just let it sit in one section it's not doing it now but yeah if you just let it sit it'll eventually start dripping on you and it's not but it will so anywho so yeah, just keep that in mind when you're moving from your bucket to your actual wall, you're gonna wanna just make sure you keep that thing moving like this. Also, the way I hold a brush, almost like a pencil with one finger here, two or three fingers on the side and one finger right there. I don't know if you guys can see that good, but that's how you're gonna wanna hold it. It's gonna give you a little more control. You don't wanna hold it too tight either because you'll start shaking. So just kinda of hold it loose. And that's how you're gonna to wanna to paint. All right, so. Good. All right guys, so now we got our bucket and our paint, brush loaded up. Give her a tap on the sides of your bucket there. Make sure to move it as you're moving to the wall. What I like to do is start about an inch and a half below the wall. Just tap it and get some of that excess paint off so you're not globbing it on there. and then holding it just like I showed you you're gonna press it right here push down on it and you're gonna need just a couple bristles on the end of that guy just like that and then I like to go back the other way to fill in any spots if it's a textured wall, you're gonna have some spots that didn't get filled in. And then you just kind of brush her out like this. And there you go. Okay, so if I, if I were doing it, this is a step where I would take, like I said again, you don't need this. So this is where I would take my four inch roller and just kind of back roll as close to the ceiling I can get without hitting it. And it makes it a little easier to fill in where you're, uh, when you're, when you come to roll with your nine inch roller. So yeah, that's how that goes. Um, give me a sec here and I'll show you guys a close up. All right, folks. So you're gonna wanna tap your brush and here, watch this. You kind of push down and you're going to use those 
Last little bit of bristles right there. Just like that. Go for about eight inches or so. Oop. And then you're gonna go back. Cross to fill in any gaps you might have missed. Smooth route there. Boom, that's how you cut a ceiling in. All right, folks, uh, this is a bonus little how to here. If you don't feel like you're steady enough to pull this off, you can always take your frog tape. That's what I was showing you in the beginning the frog tape. You don't need it, but you can just run along your ceiling here, and you want to make sure. You leave a little bit of the ceiling there so that you get a straighter line and then if you want you can either use just frog tape or you can grab yourself some clear caulking on a bead right here where the wall meets the ceiling wipe it down really really good because you don't want any imperfections in there and then you're going to want to just grab your paint. All right, so after you got your tape up, you got your little caulking on there, you just take your brush. And here you don't have to have nearly as much technique. You don't want to really push the brush in there too much. Otherwise, you'll kind of deform the caulking itself. And you can just cut it in that way. That way, you don't have to worry about having like a super steady hand. Then, before your caulking dries, you just go back along. Fill your tape, and you got a perfect straight line. So, yep, that's it, folks. Okay. All right, folks, that's it for today. Uh, that's how you cut a ceiling in. Don't forget to like us on Facebook under Eminem Precision Painting. Instagram, same name, Eminem Precision Painting. Um, don't forget to subscribe and should have a couple of videos down here that you can check out. So just go to, go to my channel, check out some more of my videos. Um, yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Are you still looking at me? Are you still looking at me?